Hey guys, it's me Scratch Out Chick, and in my community tab, which you should go check out, uh, I've been posting some votes, and you guys have said that I should make a new platform or series tutorial. So yeah, here it is. This is how to make a platform engine on Scratch Part One. Okay, so now first one we're gonna start with is obviously we don't wanna use the cat. Player. Okay, and now we also need to make the level. Well, we need to rename this right here. Okay, so now let's just name this level. Well, make sure it has level. Okay, because that's going to be really important. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to make a basic level, you know. Then we're going to add some borders here. Okay. And let's actually, let me actually make this a little bit taller. Okay, so now we have finished our... I just want to quickly add some things next. You know, we're going to be adding some platform to this video. Okay, so now we have a one. Still player sprite. Uh, let's leave the my variable. We're going to need speed x for this sprite only. Speed y for this sprite only. Falling for this front only. And we're also gonna need a uh, temp to store temporary values. And yeah, and now for all sprites, acceleration. That's how you spell it. Okay. Oh no, I spelled it wrong. Okay, now we also need friction for all sprites. Jump height. Oh. Frost sprites, and we also need ex frost sprite. Okay, that's a lot of variables, but uh, don't worry. Okay, so we grief calculate. We'll set acceleration to one point three. We'll set friction to well, not falling, but friction to. Let's just put to zero point nine. The higher the value that. Make sure it's a decimal less than one, but also the higher the value, then uh, more slippery it's gonna be. So then we're gonna set jump height, so let's just say 12. And then yeah, okay, so now let's set falling to 99 because as you can see right here, we are in the air and if we are holding the key, we don't wanna just jump at the beginning. Okay, now let's also set uh, <clears throat> Speed X to zero and speed Y to zero. Okay. Now this will be a very important block. Move is steps and then steps. This will this is basically our whole plot for a condition thing. So first we'll change falling by one so that it detects whenever we're falling. Okay, it, so that it like every time we're in the air, it'll like detect more falling. You get the idea. We'll repeat steps. So first, let's change our x by. Let's grab a divide operator. Wait, no, no, no. First, we need to set temp, our temporary value, to the x position of this sprite, and we'll change x by uh, speed x divided by steps. And then if we are touching level. Then how about we just uh, set our X to speed X. We set speed X to zero because that is we hit something. And then yeah, we're just going to stop this script. Actually, you know, how about we don't stop the script? Okay, so let's duplicate this. Set temp to Y position. Change Y by speed y divided by steps if touchy level set y to speed y and set speed y to zero actually you know what and we we'll also want to set falling to zero but before we actually do that because what if like we hit with the wall that we're going to just stay still no so if speed y is greater than zero 
Sorry, if speed Y is less than zero, then we said speed Y is zero. Same thing for falling. If falling is less is greater than zero, sorry. Then we'll set falling to zero. Oh yeah, what I meant is if speed Y is less than zero, then we set falling to zero too. Okay. So now wherever in the grief I clicked moving steps. And then we got no no. The absolute value of what's that plus? Speed X and speed Y. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's also make the variable called gravity. Okay, and we said gravity two, negative one at the beginning. So now if we click reflag, okay. Let's change speed Y by gravity. Okay. Let me add a go to X00 zero zero here. So now if I add this, oh. Okay, so uh, guys, what I'm going to do now is you see this was supposed to set y to 10 not and we we're going to set speed x to 10 too we're not we're not we're going to set it to 10 okay so now as you see look at that our player has finally way all glitched there's still tiny bit pixel but nobody really cares so let, let's set px to let's add minus operator and let's grab uh in the sensing category key a pressed minus key depressed. Let's set that here. And then we'll change speed x by, and then let's grab key x times acceleration. Okay, now let's see what that, this will do. Oh, I, I think I actually inverted the keys. It's supposed to be key depressed minus key depressed. Now if I restart. Oh, that's cool. So as you can see, whoa. Now our GX and PY, it, like, let me show you. So if we do KX, it's like that. Okay, let me just restart the project. There you go. But as you can see, the friction it makes it makes it so slippery. Now if we do this, there we go. But the friction does actually doesn't affect you on the Y, because we have to set speed X, the speed X times friction. Let's add friction here. Then speed x. Let's just do this back to 0 0.9. So we add this at the end. <clears throat> and now, so now our player finally has friction, but we want to be able to jump. So <clears throat> let me hide the acceleration. If keep a uh, w pres, then we set speed y2, and we set it to jump height. Okay, now if we do this. Look, oh, but we're also, we can also hold it infinitely and we don't want that. So we also have to add another if. If falling is less than three, then we will jump. Okay, let's see now. <coughs> uh, uh, oh yeah, also we have to do this. Let's set y zero. But now we can stick to the ceiling here. So let's just put this here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, now, our code is good, our moving steps is fine, and now we have a simple platform script. But we want to organize our script, right? So let's make a new block called <coughs> called X. Profile screw fresh. And we also want to make collide Y. Profile screw fresh. Okay. Now collide X to collide Y. Now I also want to do left. And right controls. Well, I actually forgot to add the R for the right. Okay, run up screen fresh. And then, and then we're gonna do up and down controls. Whoops. <sighs> up and down controls. Okay, now let's add run up screen fresh for that too. <coughs> Okay, so we can just move the Clyde X here and Collide Y here and we can just replace these two. Okay, now let's reset the project. And you could just add this key W pressed here to up and down. We could also add the set speed X here. Let's add the change speed Y by gravity here. And then the set key X and change key speed X. Okay, and now we can just add a left right controls, up down controls. 
that if I click three flag. Okay, there you go. They clean up my blocks. So everything should be working the exact same. We, now we have the perfect ultimate platform code. So let me just show you one thing. So let's say like uh, we had a slope, like right here. We want to be able to slip down as you can see because we're, because we're stuck on a pixel. And we also want to be able to climb up it. Like I'm holding the lever, I'm holding A and it's not allowing me to move up above it. Okay, so to start off, we need our Collide Y to look like this. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything, but it helps us with the platform and collision scripts and stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to, that your Collide Web looks like this. Okay, let's make a new custom block and we'll do slip so that our player slips down. So we'll change Y by negative two, which makes us go down. <laughs> I would check, change hex by one. If you're not touching level, remember not touching level, then we can just change speed x by one and then we stop this script. Also, let's set falling to nine because if we're slipping down, then technically we're going to be falling. So we'll set falling to nine. Then let's duplicate the change x. Instead, we'll change x by negative two. If we're not touching level, then we change x by negative one and we keep falling tonight. Excuse me. Then else, if uh, we're going to continue, uh, if it does that works, so then we just set our chain. We'll change y by two and add change x by one. Okay. So where do we want to add the slip? Let's add the slip here in the collide y right here. Let's add in collide that at the end of the collide x. Okay, now let's see that. Now if we go here, you saw that we were just slipping. Look, well, if I move with us, we were just slipping down. Okay, so now if I go over here, look, you saw that we were just slipping down. That, okay, see, we, we can slip down now, but we want to also be able to climb up. So in a collide X, what we're going to do is let's run the set X to 10. So instead, we'll do chain change y by one if we are touching level <clears throat> then we want to change the y by one again and if we're still touching level i'll go set x attempt set speed x to zero and then we're going to stop the script okay now let's add a set speed x to speed x times 0 0.95 in the outer if like right here and then at the end, we'll set speed x to speed x by 0.8, and let's add slip here. So your collide x should look like this. Okay, now if I unpause this, now as you can see, we could kind of climb up slopes, but not those ones that are deep. Like if I just turn this so that it's a little bit higher and less slopier, you can see we can climb up and down them. But then whenever they're too steep, we will slide down, as you just saw there. And our collision code is still working perfectly fine even after all the changes we've made. And yeah, that's the basics for our platformer engine. Then in the next uh, episode, we will be doing like level changes, you know. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and share as it helps the channel. Hit that notification bell. Have a wonderful day. And yeah, yesterday was Labor Day, so yeah, uh, happy late Labor Day, I guess. <laughs>